I brought from home a security light that I have above in the driveway that's uh, basically run by a eight inch square solar panel. You gotta charge it for three days first. And then it's motion detection, so what you're going to see is when I walk into the cabin, uh, hopefully that will pick up my motion and turn on a light. And as long as I'm moving around in the cabin, the light should stay on. So this is a test. All right. All the modern conveniences of home, plus designer garage sale. Long furniture, so we're a little bit large. I've got two other smaller ones that are motion detecting, and I'm going to put those in other corners, and they work the same way. Um, another good day in the neighborhood. Oh, I forgot. I shouldn't say that because we don't have a neighborhood. Yesterday was interesting too. I've got some wolves. Um, sounds like wolf pups. Um, that were howling, and I did get one on the trail cam this spring, so that's interesting. Um, still got to screw it in. Um, this one will probably be just as hard. The next one I think should be easier. Last one here. I'm going to have to go outside with an extension ladder and get up on the logs. Um, it's too hard to get it up. Actually, I can't even get it out of that square. I got to bring it up from the outside. So once that's covered, bye-bye light on this side of the cabin, except for our new solar lights. That's it for this side. I've got one more that's outside hanging over the purlines going out into space. Uh, this might not be pretty. I've decided I've got too many nuts and bolts and screws in these je jean pants. All right. as the ladder stays in place. I do have a screw to hold it up here. Come on, baby. That's going to be a problem.
This will be the last of the light. Everything else is done. This is say goodbye to the light. It's the end. It's the end of my beautiful sky that I was watching and looking at all. Uh, all these ears. I heard them popping out. I'm trying to. Sorry. My hand hit the the uh, controls. So that's it. This is the last little hobbit hole. So that's the last piece. She's looking good. It made it just over the logs. You can't go. I don't have the advantage of being able to go five minutes to a Home Depot or lumberyard. So I've screwed this two by four to my work table. I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise. Um, and then I'm pre-drilling. <laughs> holes every eight inches on both sides I'll mount it I'll mount this here's the eave the end of the pieces of plywood going down every there's two foot wide I'll put it the whole length underneath that eave and screw it to the plywood so all those individual pieces will be tied to that. It'll strengthen the edge of the roof. Um, it'll make it easier for me to make the final cut on the roof. Then I can snap a line on either end and get a true cut. So it, it, it's a good thing, a good thing, and a good thing. <laughs> but it's a pain in the neck. I'm back at the trim factory. Just trying to get some of the overrun. These first two, first two I've already coated once. They've all got holes, pre-drilled, countersunk, every eight inches. There's 48 feet of them. And these two will go on first, these will go on second. So I'm giving these our second coat. And I'll do a second coat on these a little later. You get the idea of what a view. Again, right out there. Behind those two islands and that other island is uh, where my island is and then the cabin. And that's, th that's the island. All right, you can see all the neighbors. So that's the hunter's cabin, pretty cool. Uh, some of my ideas might need more research. I'm just really glad it's calm out, as you can see with the nose of the boat, <laughs> the weight of the tar paper protected underlayment and shingles has really got her weighed down. I'm just glad it's not wavy. So this is uh, trip one. And judging by the amount I could bring, I'll have to do this seven times. So, again, it's all play the weather. If it was wavy and choppy, this might not be a good idea. All right, uh, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. That's it for right now. Heading out there. I'm really glad it's not wavy. quite as much weight over each time. Sometimes this lake will fool you. It'll appear to be common. 
the shore, and when you get out, then the waves are up, because I can see this is already getting higher. I'm almost halfway. I keep thinking of that line in uh, Jaws. I might need a bigger boat. I made it to the island. Now I've got to make it to the cabin site. It's, uh, now I'm trying to think of when I go to land, usually I've got to get the nose of the boat up onto the rocks, because there's no pier. Um, and the nose is so heavy, I don't know if that's going to happen. I made it to the site. And you can barely see the, the roof, the plywood, up on the top of the cabin through the forest. Um, I'm going to have to try to bring this in now. Like I said, there's no, there's no dock. And I just don't know how close I'm actually going to be able to get to shore. I'm going to have to kill the motor get a little bit more of a start. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Stop. All right. Perfect. Well, other than the fact I have to climb the hill and go up the hill to the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm close enough to shore to get this stuff out. I moved some of the stuff to the second seat, but, well, okay, never mind, same thing, definitely can't take this across when it's rough water. Between the full tank of gas, the extra marine battery, trolling motor, backpack, tool kit, toolbox, um, about 450 extra pounds is all I can put in this little boat um, and operate it normally if a storm came up. Um, they said it was going to be sunny for the next five days. stop everything. It's August 20th or the 21st. I'm making one of my last loads with the shingles to the island. I've got three bundles left after these guys and I'm trying to beat the rain and all I gotta do now is beat the rain. Get these things carried to the cabin at least. So I'll have all the shingles out there before I leave and hopefully the underlayment up on the second half. All right, I'm loaded with shingles. I think you can see that. Um, the good thing is this is the last load of shingles. And I got a super calm day to do it. I'm leaving tomorrow. Uh, been here nearly 20 days straight. Um, almost completed the entire uh, sheathing, underlayment, and shingle work on the roof. I'll be about, hopefully, 80% done by the time I leave. So, this is the last, last load. And that's where we're headed out beyond those little islands, the big island, and then alongside that island, past some other islands, that's where I'm going. So a good day uh, for the final crossing. Just wanted to get, make sure everything's out there that I need when I come back, because it'll be significantly colder. Um, the weather up here changes really quickly. Yesterday was really bad.